Company. Welcome to White Haired Gardener. Now last time we chatted, I was telling you about an evil scourge, the Japanese beetle. Well, it's not the only one. See this? Come with me, I've got something to show you. Now, another lovely little creature, the Mexican bean beetle does a really lovely number on your beans. As you can see, these are chewed basically to ribbons. Now, I was smart and I actually saved a beetle. Hopefully I can get this out here. See this horrid creature? Hurry before she flies away. See this nasty thing? This is related to the ladybug, but this is no lady. Um, unlike ladybugs, these will basically chew your plants all the heck. They are very partial to beans, and it seems, at least in my case, especially bush beans. Now, here's also an example of what happens. The bean beetle will basically lay these little, a cluster of little yellow eggs. These will hatch and make these horrible, horrible larvae little spiny creatures um, and they will get to about this size then they will also um, become become beetles which is really nasty and I'm going to put them back in here and destroy them later. Now a couple of things that you can do for these beetles one is you can cover your beans with diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is kind of a um, they say it's fossilized remains of creatures, but basically it's mostly silica and it's got sharp edges and the theory is that when the beetle goes across it, it cuts up their little bodies and they die. Now, it would seem fairly simple to do this on a bush bean. You can get all over it and there, but on whole beans, it might be a little difficult to basically dust the entire thing in diatomaceous earth. You can spray it with insecticidal soap or just dish soap, a little bit of oil in it, spray it on the, be on the beans and bugs, and it should offer some protection. Although I don't know how much it would really um, harm beneficials, but at least you're not spraying poison all over the place. What I end up doing... Would, um, would a mixture of... Uh, Cayenne, you've used that in other places in the garden. Uh, cayenne soap and water to, to make it a bitter? It might be a deterrent, but as far as just the soap and water, it's about the same. Hmm. Um, so, you know, it's good. It would probably keep um, rabbits and stuff off of your beans, which also could be a help. But for this, you can see how the plant is really, really chewed up. Now, they usually tend to congregate on the underside of the leaves. You can't really see them. So if you're going to come out, what I will do is I'll come out with gloves. I will take um, those, if I find the little larva or the eggs like this, I squish it so that the eggs won't hatch and I kill the larva so that they do not um, form into, you know, more beetles. This is what she was talking about. We just saw one fly into the garden right quick. She said, go take a quick picture of it. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> one last little tip. If you've lost your plant to the bean beetle, I recommend that you do not put it in your compost bin, that bag the plant up, um, throw it away, or if you've got a burn pile, burn the thing because you don't want to contaminate your compost bin with these horrid little bugs because chances are actually you will, you know, miss one, and now you've got bean beetles in your compost bin, and you can contaminate everything that you put on your garden. So basically, that's about all I can think of that I can um, tell you about the bean beetle, like this guy right here. Ha, he needs to die. Other than that, um, I have got more more videos um, underway and if you have any questions or if I didn't cover anything um, please leave a note in the comment section and as again um, subscribe to White Haired Gardener if you uh, you know help us help a sister out and thank you for stopping by.